reason that everything is designed so perfectly. This is very, very cool. But it's so new looking too. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, it's been in production for how many years? Hundreds of years. Hundreds of years, and still in construction. It's supposed to end. Uh, 20, be completed. 2026. 2026. Yeah. Okay. Nothing else I've ever seen from my It's pretty amazing. Even if you're not with the whole box, it's yeah. just beautiful. It really, it's just okay. the way this kind of together is amazing. Hospital St. Pau in Barcelona. We're going to be going and take a tour. This was recommended by our niece, uh, Brooke, who was here for six months, and she said this was the most amazing architecture. This is a very famous a modernista hospital. Well, it's not modern. Look, it's very old. Yeah, but they call it modern. We are in the massive courtyard uh, outside the hospital where there are many buildings that are connected underneath. We can uh, spin around to show you this massive courtyard with all of these interconnected buildings that are very beautiful. This was the series of tunnels that connected all the buildings underneath um, so that people could, you know, rapidly go from one building to another and not have to go outside. So it's pretty cool. Like any hospital I ever stayed in. How many hospitals have you stayed in? Uh, well, I was born in one. And I have my tonsils on, so that's two. That's two. Buildings just go on and on. It's I amazing. It's like they had to close it because it, it just became outdated. Right. I need a hospital just to take a rest. <laughs> a respite. A respite. Still in construction, way down the street. That center tower is going to be very high when it's finally completed in 2026. We're, we have a tour group like following us, so we're just going to run away before they all submerge upon us. <laughs> 